Ansha Burr versus Marketa Von Drusova is the final for Wimbledon for 2023. Both ladies have been very impressive to get to the final. Jabir into the tournament as the number six seed and would take on Fre in the first round. This was too easy for Jabir getting through in straights. 6-3, 6-3. In the second round, she'd take on the qualifier Bay. And again, an easy win for Jabir winning in straights. 6-1, 6-1. In the third round, she'd take on Andrescu. And after dropping the first set, Jabir would have to fight back to win. 3-6, 6-3, 6-4 to advance to the fourth round. Fourth round, she'd take on the number nine seed Kvitova. This time, Jabir was on fire, demolishing Kvitova in straights. 6-love, six 6-3. Six to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Jabir would take on the number three seed, Rabakina, who she had lost to in the final of Wimbledon last year. And after dropping the first set, she would fight back to win 6-7, 6-4, 6-1 to advance to another Wimbledon semifinal. In the semifinals, Jabir would take on the number two seed, Sabalenka. And again, after dropping the first set, she would fight back to win 6-7, 6-4, 6-3 to advance to her second consecutive Wimbledon final. When Drusova started the tournament, unseeded, and will take on Stearns in the first round. This is no problem getting through in straight sets. 6-2, 7-5. In the second round, she'll take on the number 12 seed, Kudmatova. And again, this was no problems getting through in straight sets. 6-3, 6-3. In the third round, she'll take on the 20th seed, Donna Vekic. Getting through in straight sets. 6-1, 7-5. Fourth round, she'll take on the number 32 seed, Buzkova. And after dropping the first set, she'd have to fight back to win. 2-6, 6-4, 6-3 .6 to advance to the quarterfinals. Quarterfinals, Von Drusa would take on the number four seed Pagula, who had been very solid to get to this stage. And after dropping the second set, Von Drusa would fight back in the final set, 6 4, 2 6, 6 4, to advance to the semi finals of Wimbledon. In the semi finals, Von Drusa took on the unseeded Svetolina. Von Drusa would run away with it, putting Svetolina away in a couple of sets, 6 3, 6 3, to advance to her second Grand Slam final. These two have played six times before with the head to head split down the middle, 3 3. But Von Drusa has won their last two matches this year, first at the Australian Open and then at Indian Wells. So Jabir is going to overcome that mentally if she's going to get a title. If Von Drusova is going to win this one, she needs to frustrate Jabir, get everything back like she did against Svetolina. Svetolina was playing so well when she was playing the players that were more aggressive. And Von Drusova was able to make that not really work because she was just getting everything back herself. So she needs to do the same to Jabir. She can also drop shot and slice and use that lefty serve as well. Jabir is going to win this one. She needs to keep everything out of her head because, of course, she's lost two Grand Slam finals already. And she knows it's a big opportunity. She is the favorite to win this slam, and especially because she's had those two losses, she's going to keep that out of her head and play the way she has been over the last couple of matches. This is such a cool matchup because we've got two players that are returning to a slam final. Of course, Von Drusova back in 2019 at the French Open and Jabir only at the US Open last year and also at Wimbledon last year, making to the final of her third Grand Slam. I think Jabir's going to get it. She's, she's finally going to get her Grand Slam title, the one that she deserves so much, and she's going to be put in that category of the big four with Rabakina, Sabalenka, Fiontech with a slam as well, but let me know down in the comments below who's winning Wimbledon.